So today we're gonna to cover six different settings that you may actually wanna turn off on your Mac. What are they? Let's find out. <laughs> Welcome back. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through six different settings on a Mac you may actually wanna turn off. Now, some people may wanna keep them on, but I'm gonna go through them one through six and just show you what, what they are so you know that they're out there. These settings can be things that could save you some battery, they could save you some privacy, they could save you some CPU resources as well. So if you have like a laptop Mac, it could save you battery. Um, if you have a desktop, it could save you a little power, but also some privacy. So let's figure out what these settings are. I'm just gonna go through them one through six and then let me know in the comments what you think. I'll let you guys make up your mind if you wanna turn them off or not. Hopefully you can support my channel. I make tons of videos. I have over, I think, 300 now. Definitely subscribe if you can to help my channel grow. I'm gonna do a screen share here. We'll go through them you know, quickly, just show you what these settings are, and then I'm gonna catch you on the other side of the video. Let's find out what they are. All right, number one, we wanna turn off unnecessary login items, and I'm gonna show you what that means. So go up to your little Apple icon up here, then go to System Preferences. You wanna to go to Users and Groups, see it there? Click on that, and it's gonna bring this, this little screen up here. Go into login items, you'll see it right here. It's, click on that, it's gonna bring a big list. I don't have a list because I've turned a lot of my stuff off already, but in this list you're gonna see a number of things in here that actually get started. So these things are gonna be running when you boot up, and they could be using some of your CPU and RAM and stuff like that, kind of running behind the scenes. So go through this list, and you can select something like, you know, you can select this, and then you can click the minus, it'll remove it, and you can also add something to start back up. So go ahead and take a look at this. Just remove things you don't think you need in here. You can always add them back later. It usually sucks a lot of your, your bandwidth or CPU away and stuff like that. Not bandwidth, but CPU power, sometimes RAM. And uh, you want to get rid of those. So that's my first tip. Number two, you want to turn off unnecessary system services. So let me show you what that means. Go up to your Apple icon again, System Preferences. And then what you want to look for is Security and Privacy right here. Click on that and it's gonna come up. Now you wanna to go to privacy. There's four little dots or four boxes up here. Go to privacy, and then over here on this side, you wanna scroll all the way down, and you'll see system services, see right there? Click on details, and inside of here, now in order to do this, you have to kind of basically log in, and you can go ahead and change these. I, have to, I haven't logged in, but once you log in, these will light up. But there's location-based suggestions. You definitely wanna turn those off if, you, you know, if you're not using them. Also, time zone system customization. If you're not going in between time zones, you want to you know, go ahead and turn that off. All these little things with the arrow can drain your battery um, it, you know, by always constantly checking where you are. I would leave Find My Mac on. That's about the only one in here. Wi-Fi networking, actually, if you, even if you uncheck that, it'll still work. Um, but these other ones you can turn off, at least I do. And I always leave, obviously, Find My Mac on. But these other ones are constantly kind of checking and checking. It can use battery if you're on a laptop and stuff. So I would go ahead and log, you know, obviously click this little lock here to get into here. And then you can go ahead and uncheck the ones you do not want in here. Number three is going to be, and you guessed it, location services. You want to change those off if you're not using them. And it's exactly the same place I just showed you. So go up to your Apple icon. Click on System Preferences, Security and Privacy. Click right there. And again, go under Privacy. I already had that checked. Now again, if you log in, it's going to light this up. I'm not going to do it here. But this will light up, and you'll see in here, like Google Chrome, Siri and Dictation, um, player location check, that's for like a, a betting site. You can basically go through maps. I mean, maps I wouldn't uncheck because, you, you know, you want that to know where you are. But some of these other applications, let's say you had like, you know, notebook helper or news, maybe you don't want them to know where you are. Weather you might want to turn on, obviously, if you can. Um, voice memos, I don't know why that would have to know where you are unless it records something and tells you where you're located when you did it. So go ahead and check these again. Check these off because it's going to be checking in the background a lot of times and it can use battery and stuff. But if you don't need them checked, just uncheck these. So these are under privacy and they're going to be your location services. And I recommend doing that for sure. Number four, I would turn off your Mac sharing analytics because they should be able to figure that out themselves and you don't want your data or your battery being used from that. So let's go ahead and go up to the Apple icon, system preferences here again. And again, the same place we're going to be going in is security and privacy. See right there. So you want to click on that and that's going to come up. This time before you were on location services over the last two I showed you, that's where you, that's the, the link over here you wanted to click on to get over here. We're instead going to scroll down on the left side here this time, and we're going to go to Analytics and Improvements. You'll see it down here, second to last. So click on that. And I've actually turned mine off, but you can go ahead and uncheck. The, usually these will all be checked. Share Mac Analytics, Improve Siri and Dictation, 
share with app developers, and then share iCloud analytics. These can all be removed, and then you won't have uh, data being moved back and forth, some battery being used. And also, like I said, it does help you with a little bit with privacy and stuff if you don't, you know, you always have to trust the developers and what have you. So go ahead and turn those off. I highly recommend that if you're into security and just saving battery. So number five is gonna be the one, you probably guessed it, we're gonna turn off advertising if we can. So you go up here and you go up to the Apple icon, system preferences again, and you name, you know, same thing here, privacy and security, security and privacy, click on that again, and this is gonna come up. So this time we're gonna scroll all the way down, and right below the analytics, we just clicked on, we're gonna click on advertising. And I've already done this, but you can go in here and you can limit ad tracking, so you can opt out of receiving ads targeted to your interests. They're gonna have plenty of information on you no matter what you do, and I mean, you don't really need to have this checked. Why help them out? Um, advertising and Apple apps, you can go ahead and you can change some of this as well, but long story short, this is the real one you wanna unselect right here. You really just wanna limit that because there's gonna be some, you know, some, some privacy concerns and stuff like that. And at the end of the day, I mean, they have so much information on us by now, we don't need to give them more um, unless you really want to. Then you can go ahead and turn that on, it's up to you. All right, so here's number six, and I did think of a seven, so stay tuned for that as well. But number six is gonna be limiting your notifications. So if you go up to your Apple icon up here, and you go up to system preferences, you get the idea. There's gonna be a notifications icon over here. Click on notifications. And what you wanna do in here is, you know, there, a lot of times there's gonna be these little pop-up notifications in the upper right-hand corner or through your notifications window. And they can be annoying in a lot of cases, but also they can drain a minuscule amount of battery, but it all counts when you need it, right? So go through this list here and you can go ahead and click on like books, for example, allow notifications from books. You can just click that button, see it there? It turns it off and now you're not gonna get books notifications. So go down this list, you know, you may have a ton of them in here and just see what you really wanna get notifications from and on select all the other ones you do not. And then you know, you know you're not gonna be getting unwanted stuff just popping up all the time. And uh, you'll save just a minuscule amount of battery that might save you one day. And the bonus seventh one is gonna be, I just thought of it, is go ahead and go to system preferences. And this time what you wanna look for is extensions. So click on extensions. I don't have a ton here, um, but you may have a ton. A lot of people have a ton of extensions. These are just little pieces of software that are actually kind of associated with the applications. For instance, Notebook has a couple, and Quick Look. It gives them kind of special privileges and stuff, but you wanna just go through. I, I don't have a very big list because I've already taken care of this, but you may have about 50 or 100 in here. Go through them all and just take a look, and you can unselect certain things that you do not, if you don't think that the, you know you want those anymore. Um, extensions don't need the access to that information all the time. It'll notify if it needs it later, but it does help you with privacy, number one, and also number two with performance if you have a very slow Mac or something. So go ahead and take a look at extensions. You know, again, without me having a ton here, I can't show you which ones I would actually remove. But for instance, like Solver, I don't really use this that much. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, I don't need quick look on that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and then I'm done with that. So what did you think? I think the number one problem with settings, and there's a ton of them in a Mac, is gonna be just knowing that they're there. So I'm just kind of teaching people that, hey, these settings are here, this is the way they're set up. Usually, you can turn them off, and it doesn't really affect a lot. So if you don't wanna be tracked, turn it off. If you don't want your location being tracked, turn it off. If you wanna save some power or you don't wanna be notified of everything, turn it off. So I guess half the battle is just knowing that they exist, and that's kind of what I'm trying to show people here. These settings exist. Go ahead and log in, check them out yourself, see what you have. Everyone's gonna be a little bit different as far as their settings. See what it is set up for and make a decision based off it. You can always click it right back on if you want to. You can always reset it up, so not a big deal. Hope you guys like this video. If you can support my channel again, I have over 300 videos now. Subscribe if you can, I need to get that up. I need to get the viewership up. Post something for me somewhere, it's gonna help me out. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks again for watching, peace.